So I'll start with my my talk. It's not really a talk. I just wanted to share something cool that I have been finding very useful, which is um, so uh, USB C. Now we all know about USB C. You know, power breaks every like phone and whatever else uh, does USB C. One of the cool things it does is it allows you to change the voltage that it generates from the default five volts to other voltages, and I found it super useful uh, to be able to power random crap with it. Uh, because now this is not a five volt brick anymore. This is a tell me what voltage you want brick, right? Which is very, very useful for, you know, when you're traveling, not only this, right? But even like your battery packs, your small little USB battery packs, all you need is these things called USB C PD triggers, which are these little boards. And you can get on AliExpress for like 30 cents or whatever. Uh, and all, all you do is you, you just get those and um, plug it in on on with a USB cable to this guy and it will force the USB brick if it can to generate other voltages. So you get this in multiple uh, form factors and this is where I, I find it super cool. So this is another variant of the same idea, uh, but this is very well done. So this is USB-C on one side and a nice barrel jack on the other side, right? So if you have like a, a, a computer or I, I, I end up having a lot of little boards that are around 12 volts or whatever. Uh, all you do is th there's some circuitry in this that asks the this guy to say, give me 12 volts or give me 15 volts or whatever. And 15 volts comes out of this, uh, which is super useful. And and again, this doesn't have to be a wall plug. It could be a, a, a battery pack. So now you suddenly have a portable mobile 12 volt supply that you can bring along to a cafe and start working in a cafe or whatever. So. What I've been finding it really useful for is moving around and then having like a 12 volt supply or a 15 volt supply or whatever. Uh, there's also another variant of it, which is uh, slightly different. I think also quite useful, which is you get cables that are like fixed voltage. So this is always going to trigger a 15 volt or a 12 volt. This are five, yeah. So this this cable is even special. It's two. It's got like uh, it's a this is a company called Return. I can I can put it up later. Uh, not only do they allow you to, not only is it static 12 volts or 15 volts, you can program it. So you can just buy one cable and they've got this software and only works in Windows and it's in Chinese. So, but but once you know how to work around with it, what you can do is basically have like one cable that does 15 volts, another cable that does five volts or whatever. Or you can go and change this if you need to work. So uh, super duper useful to, you know, hack on the go. Yeah, bring one of these around, plug it into your laptop, and then suddenly you can power your 12-volt 12, 12 board or whatever from a laptop. This one is nice because this also gives you uh, visuals. I was just going to show this earlier. That, um, this one shows you the voltage, so that's nice. So there you go. So this is now generating 12 volts, and then there's a little button. You press it, and then now it generates 15 volts. So you can use it to change around. And I think it remembers the last one. It should go, yeah, it goes nine. Oh, you gotta change. No, it doesn't go three point three. 3.3 is rarely a problem for me because if it's three point three, I can take a five and a bug down to three point three. So usually the twelve is irritating. Question, is there anything you should look out for when you buy the adapter? Yes. I good point. Yeah. So uh in fact on the way here. I took out my old power bank and my power bank doesn't support it. So the power, the, the, they will tell you how many, the, usually the adapters tell you like on the adapter, like this one does somewhere. Yeah, here you go. I'm getting old. Uh, it says output five volts, nine volts, 12 volts and 20 volts. Oh, nice. And in fact, between the two ports here, uh, there is different. So maybe we try to plug into the other guy and see if we get a different set of voltages. 15, 20. Oh. Yeah, 20 is one of the standards. No, so the, the two ports are different. So not only you should be looking at your battery or your power power supply socket specs, even between like in on this guy, one can do 20, one can't do 20. So, but super handy if you have the whole setup, like if you have, I mean, a lot of times, I think the laptop should also be able to, not all laptops, but certain laptops will be also able to generate other voltages. And the main point point is that the cables aren't doing anything. It's not like a buck boost converter or, or anything like that. The all the fanciness is here. This guy is just telling it what to do. It's just a controller that says, "Hey, give me five volts. Hey, give me ten volts. Hey, give or whatever nine volts, fifteen volts." Uh, so that makes it also very efficient and less scary, I guess. I'm always scared to carry boost converters in my 
in my in, in my backpack because it's like uh yeah, just part of the spec. Yeah, it's a part of the spec, yeah. yeah. So which is which is super cool. Uh yeah, power banks that can give up can, these kinds of can. so I, I realize mine doesn't, but there are definitely power banks that give up. The USB C ones. Yeah, the okay. ones that are so yeah, this is all USB C only, so it has to be USB C. Ah, so the conversion is still yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I use a power bank, the conversion is inside the, the power bank. Power bank. Yeah. So, yeah, the yeah. conversion is in the source of the power Yeah, bank. correct. Uh, Which also makes it hopefully more efficient, although that's debatable. The is the <laughs> yeah, the, 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 this guy just does a trigger. So, uh, so the USB-C actually has some sideband bus uh, where the, you can use to signal and basically talk of specific protocol that says how much this is. The cool thing is, and this is where it gets yeah, seriously crazy. It's just called a power delivery trigger. So the cool thing is there's a new standard called uh, USB-C PPS, programmable power supply. So once I showed you was it, it can do, it can ask for separate voltages. With the new standard, you can ask for one much more granular voltages. So instead of just like five, nine, 15, 20, you can do like 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. Right, much more granular, not super granular, but I think it, it's in 100 milli, 100 millivolts kind of uh, granularity, which is good enough. And you can also ask for a specific amount of current. So you could effectively make, and this is what this guy's been doing on this project, a full-on power supply, uh, but where the none of the actual conversion happens in your power supply. This is just triggering the brick to say, hey, give me 5.1 volts, hey, give me 5.2 volts. Usually, usually it's a buy value. Yeah, but but you could you could think of this would you could make like a a very tiny little power supply where the front end of it is just like very small like this, and then the back end would be, uh, you got a phone call. And the back end would be from oh, <laughs> the back end would be where all the power up the, the power regulation is done, and that could be you know, fatter and beefier and more complicated kind of stuff. So, so any, it's super easy. Uh, no, you're, they, they, so not all of them support. It. So you have to go check which one support it. It's a part of the spec, so it's not it's it, it's it's an optional part of the spec. So not all will support it, and they will different will support it different. But I think twelve, I have found most USB C bricks to it. Uh, twelve, five, and twelve. Uh, so I think anything that can charge a phone, any of any of the Android phone like the quick charge kind of stuff, they all can do twelve. So five and twelve, you should have no problems doing it. Anything more than nineteen, the twenty is rare. So this one, I specifically look for this specific guy because it does pretty, it's just for charging laptops. Uh, it's faster to charge a laptop. But uh, that one's, yeah. And then I, what I did with this one was I just put it in a little box and I put a little power. So I wanted to do one with uh, both voltage and current because it's useful to no current, but I didn't have space. So the metering display is your- Yeah, this is just right. me Me hacked this up. Like, okay. the, like this bit, I, I, I hacked and squished it in. Uh, but yeah, the idea would be I could, I, this would be, yes. I made this before I got this and now I have this, I'm like, yeah, this is useful. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I wanted to share. I think this has been really fun for me, very useful, uh, bringing stuff from home to office to home. Oh, one more thing. I don't think the power is like super clean or anything. So if you're doing anything where you need clean power, don't bother. Uh, but if you don't care about, if you're doing digital stuff and you don't care about how clean the power is, then so whatever. Useful, very useful. Cool. That's all I had, so I'll give it to